Hey, Cash Course fans, before we start the show, remember that you can get hundreds of free educational videos for all ages at PragerUKids.com. Subscribe today and never miss an episode. Come on, you just gotta make this. Let's go. All right, another win. Playing a new video game? No, but I did just win some money guessing the winner of tonight's game. Wait, you're betting on sports? Yeah, you know, like a little side gig to make some extra money. You do know that's gambling, right? Yeah, but is it really? Yes, it is. Gambling has been around as long as recorded human history and has been warned against due to its rejection of honest work, the animosity it creates between people, and its get-rich-quick appeal. Yeah. Gambling comes in many forms, including casino games like poker and blackjack, and lotteries such as Powerball. Recently, technological advances and changes in the law have opened the door for gambling from the comfort of your computer or your phone. <laughs> the most popular of these today is online sports betting. Online sports betting is a form of gambling where individuals place wagers on various sports events on internet-based platforms. It typically involves predicting the results of matches or competitions across a wide range of sports such as football, basketball, and Serbian horse racing. Users can place bets on different aspects of the games, including the final score, player performances, or even specific events within the match. <laughs> this looks like a good bet. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I have a pretty good feeling about this one. Wait, why? Well, for starters, the odds are against you. Odds refer to the probability that an outcome will occur. For example, the odds of winning a Powerball jackpot is 1 in 292,201,338, oh. meaning you can expect to win once in almost 300 million tries. Yikes. Truth is, all forms of gambling are designed for you to lose. Odds makers are skilled at designing bets to entice people to make emotional and uninformed wagers, such as betting on a favorite team no matter what. This gives the betting platform, also known as the house, an edge, with the average better more likely to lose money than to win it. Bummer. Oh, come on! That's a terrible call. There goes 50 bucks. Gambling businesses, including online sports betting apps, are in business for one reason, to take your money. In 2023, the sports betting industry posted a record revenue of almost $11 billion. And if you do happen to win consistently or make a high payoff on a particular bet, yes. these platforms will often limit your bet amount or even kick you off the app. What? So you're telling me I've been set up to lose? Yep, the sports books don't like it when you win. These games are designed for you to lose money more often than you win, which could result in significant financial losses if you're not careful. Okay, but what if I made just a few small bets per week? Although it typically starts out with small harmless bets, it can quickly escalate into an addiction. When you win, yes. you'll probably want to chase that good feeling by gambling more. And when you lose, you'll probably want to chase your losses by gambling more. An estimated 11.5 million Americans are addicted to gambling, with more and more young adults falling victim on a regular basis. 90% of individuals suffering from a gambling addiction have serious credit card debt. The average debt generated by a gambling addict is tens of thousands of dollars, and 20% of compulsive gamblers end up filing for bankruptcy because of gambling losses. Beyond the financial aspect, there are other risks, including increased anxiety, stress, and strained relationships. Plus, there's the risk of encountering fraudulent gambling sites and scams. Oh, come on. The podcast guy said this was a stone-cold locked win. You also have to consider the opportunity cost of gambling. Each dollar or hour you spend gambling is one less dollar or hour you can invest in something more productive. Let's say you spend $400 a month on online sports betting. That's $4,800 a year. Wow. Although you could win a large payoff, the odds are that you're more likely to lose that money and end up $4,800 poorer at the end of the year. So if not gambling that money, then what? You could put it in a savings account and earn interest, buy dividend paying stocks, buy assets, or even better, invest in yourself. Invest in myself? 
How would I do that? By taking classes or gaining a skill that can result in a return multiple times what could be gained from gambling. It could lead to a better paying job, more long-term wealth, and the satisfaction that comes from good, honest work. Time and money are limited resources. Once they're gone, you can't get them back. Consider whether those valuable resources are worth losing on the odds of gambling. If not, invest them in wiser and more productive endeavors. Gambling is often an attempt to get rich quickly and bypass honest work, responsible saving habits, and financial planning. Becoming addicted to gambling can happen quickly Later. and result in lifelong struggles. Yikes. It can be a great high to win, but it could also no. lead to great lows when you lose. And remember, losing is going to happen more often than winning. Serbian horse racing? What was I thinking? Watch more at PragerUKids.com. And parents, don't forget to subscribe.